Welcome back everyone to the Back 40 Firewood channel. So last year, around July, I piled up loosely this big pile of wood. Because I wanted to see how it would season just in a big loose pile compared to a stacked row. And I know that's kind of a debate that goes back and forth, you know, should you stack it, just leave it in a loose pile. So today I'm gonna dig into this pile to see how the wood is down close to the center, close to the bottom. I'm hopefully gonna be able to dig some of that out. Then I'm gonna show you um, a big pile of split maple that I left in a big pile uh, loose over the winter, how that stuff turned out. I'm gonna compare it to the stuff here I have stacked. And then later on, I'm gonna dig into something else. I'll show you guys about um, up in the front yard. So first, it's time to get what we called Mount Woodmore. I don't know if you guys remember way back then, last summer, this uh, this big pile of wood, we kind of called it Mount Woodmore. I'm gonna take the tarps off this thing and we're gonna see how well it's seasoned over the winter and um, yeah, just how the wood looks down inside there. Because like I said, if it's anything like uh, what happened with the maple, I may be in trouble. All right, so at initial glance, it looks pretty good. Everything up there under the top stayed dry um, over the winter, which was good. Uh, back here on the back side, did have a, a lot of leaves kind of collect and some of this stuff was exposed. Um, one thing I should say, it has rained here for the last three days. So like some of, like that pile down there, you can see that that wasn't covered. That's that's gonna be a little wet, but um, yeah, it looks like the tarps work pretty good. So on the back side here, um, I did have a row stacked. Everything seems to be uh, fairly dry on the top. So let's dig in a little deeper. That is not looking good. All right, so upon further review, uh, we do have some pieces like this. We did have this piece right here. That is not looking good. But there were also some dry pieces like this. So, I don't know, it's a little mix, but definitely some mold down inside there. So let me go pull some out of the stack and see how that looks. So that stuff on the bottom of that stack, looking a little bit better. But now let's go check that stack that was back behind the pile. So 
So here are three pieces from the bottom of the stack. Now you can see two of them look pretty good. The one though does have a little bit of that black discoloration. I don't know if it's mold or what it is. A little bit better though than what was down inside that pile. So the other thing to keep in mind here is the type of wood. Most of this wood that I put over here was basswood, which is generally pretty uh, wet. It holds a lot of moisture in its wood when it's you know freshly cut and split. So I'm thinking a lot of that moisture, you know, that was already in the wood is what's kind of causing that discoloration. And I think that's the same thing that happened with the maple. Let me show you this pile of maple. Um, and that's a little bit different, uh, different type of, I guess, mold and uh, discoloration going on in the bottom of that pile. So let me show you that quick and kind of compare the two. All right, so here's a big pile of maple that I'd split last fall. And it was just loosely thrown in a pile and the pile was all the way back to right about there um, and let me show you what was down on the inside of this pile look at some of this yeah that's not looking good there that piece right there is not looking too good that piece is really not looking good so you can see here the discoloration and spotty mold on that piece and that was right down here in the bottom of this big loose pile and this also was tarped all winter long so what I'll end up doing now is pulling and separating out some of that and keeping it for my own personal uh, fire pit use um, some of it's the pieces that aren't too bad I will still probably put those out in the roadside stand once they dry and season uh, this summer they'll be good for next year but yeah, it just goes to show like that loose pile, not enough airflow in there to uh, dry things out. And the conditions were right for it to grow some mold and get some discoloration on the wood. So I'm not here in this video to uh, say which way is right or wrong when it comes to either loosely throwing your wood in a pile or stacking it in rows. Um, I think when you do stack it, there's less opportunity for uh, mold and discoloration to occur on your pieces of wood and like I said there's a lot of factors that come into play you know the type of wood the weather conditions you know sometimes I've heard it's it's best to not tarp your wood during the summer to let the sun and the air get in there and then you only tarp it in the winter to keep the snow off it so you know either way depending on what you do um, you might want to just kind of check how things are going and like if you have a big pile of wood you might want to you know, take a loader or something and turn it up and mix it around to maybe give the stuff that's on the bottom a better chance to dry. If you do stack it like this, um, it's another thing, you know, just to keep in mind, do you cover it all summer long? And I'll show you here in a second, something that I've just noticed with the wood that I do have covered um, these past few days with the rain. It's kind of making me think that now during the summer, I'm gonna take the tarps off of the stacks and just let the air and the sun uh, season them. So here's the reason why I think I might uncover these stacks uh, and just let the the open the open sun beat down on them when the sun does come out. <laughs> but what's happening is with these sheets of tin, all the water, all the rain that hits these things ends up pooling and coming down in one spot, right there. So you can see if I push on this. Right there, all the water is coming down in one spot. So basically what's happening is this whole stack of wood here collects all the water, sends it down in one spot. So I know that wood's probably not gonna be too good. If I would just have this completely open, you know, have all the wood basically getting hit the same when it rains. Um, the one thing is, is, you know, I don't think these pieces of wood will act like a sponge and soak thing, soak the water up. I think they'll get wet, they'll get a little damp, but then as soon as the sun comes out, as soon as the wind blows, they'll dry right off and be just as good. Um, this tote right here I had out in the rain, and you can see, I mean, the, the, these pieces are, they look like they're wet, they're not that wet to the touch. Um, and this has just been uh, one day since it stopped raining, actually just overnight. But, you know, down on the bottom now, all these pieces are still dry. So I don't know if it pays to keep these stacks covered all winter or all summer 
because you know here's another example right down here this is a low spot the water pools up and then ends up coming off it's got to go somewhere there's another pool of water the other bad thing with leaving water like this mosquitoes that's where they like to lay their eggs and the last thing i need is more mosquitoes in my wood yard so the other thing i want to show you guys that i'm now digging into is uh, my little landscaping project i used to have here a nice little uh, recreational stream and mini pond and it looks something like this so yeah it was pretty cool it worked out pretty well but there were some flaws with it so this year this spring now what i'm going to be doing i'm going to tear this all up and i'm going to redo it so i may be dropping in little uh progress videos or i might just save the progress and make one video i don't know let me know what you guys think if you'd you know, want to see some of this content here and there spaced out throughout some videos um, i have started tearing some of it up up there i'll show you quick what i'm going to be doing and why this thing didn't work so here what i've started digging up so far i got to remove all these rocks take down this whole rock wall that i built um, but basically what i had was i had water coming out here flowing down and then i had my pump in the center and then i had another the pump would come out and it would tee off. There was a branch, a hose going that way, so water would come out there and cycle back. But it just didn't work the way I had envisioned. So now the plan is to have everything flow down. I'm gonna expand this corner out and I'm gonna expand the pond over there. So everything is gonna flow down to that end and then get pumped back to the start right up here. So just redoing the whole flow and kind of making it a little bit bigger. I want to extend that corner out and I want to have the water on both sides of the walkway. So it's a bit of a disaster right now, but hopefully in a couple weeks, I'll have this all done. So if you were on the live stream Friday night, this past Friday night, thanks for tuning in. We did open up the, uh, the outside bar. We had a fire outside for the first time this year on the live stream. Hopefully we'll be able to do that now each and every Friday night. Um, it was a good time, so thanks again to all of those who uh, tuned in, and uh, we're here on the Back 40 Live Friday night. So yeah, so I think that'll about do it for this video. Just wanted to show you guys that uh, progress from uh, or an update of the wood that I had tossed loosely in that big pile in Mount Woodmore last summer, and then also um, how that maple ended up looking after just a few months of being tossed in a big loose pile. So yeah, I, like I said, it, you know, the preference is yours to decide which way is best um, if you want you know let me know what you guys uh what you guys do down in the comments if you stack or just loosely toss in a pile um i guess you know it does depend on you know if your pile is out maybe in the open with more air and more sun than those piles were um and yeah just you know maybe you build your pile like kind of in a progression where you split and have a bunch loosely tossed for a week or two and let that kind of air out and then put some more on top of it let that kind of air out and i don't know um it does i guess save a little space to just make big piles but from what i found now that big loose pile probably not um, the best quality of wood down inside there so like i said i'll dig it out keep the bad stuff for myself and burn it right here friday nights on the back for your live stream <laughs> So with that, thanks for watching. See you next time. Stay safe, have fun, and be cool.